Hey, it's Lauren here from Dominion Lending Center's Expert Financial OptimalFinance.ca. So I'm going to show you a really cool calculator that actually help you kind of define, hey, whether shared equity could be a good option to help you get into a home today versus waiting to save and then trying to get into a home tomorrow. I'm going to use here, if you see my screen here, I'm using a purchase price. Let me just enlarge this a little bit. It'll say $800,000. This is our purchase price. So if I buy today without our borough, okay, so which is the partner that we have with the shared equity financing, my purchase price is $800,000. My minimum down payment would be $55,000, which is an insured mortgage because I have to put at least 5% of the first uh, $500,000 and then the balance after that would need to be at least 10% of that portion. So my minimum down payment is now $55,000. My mortgage that is going to be required with insurance on there and everything is $770. $74,800. This could be an option and it may not be an option. It just depends. Okay. So what happens if I need to buy right now with Arboro? So they're going to actually give me the full 20% down payment. So the minimum down payment I'm going to have to have is 40,000. Okay. Cause I have to put at least 5% down. The mortgage that's required for this purchase is actually 640,000 cause they're giving me what I need to get a 20% down payment. So it's lowering my mortgage amount. So what happens here, everybody, this is really important. My mortgage amount is lower. Okay, so I'm gonna qualify, it helps me in terms of now maybe if I don't qualify for 774, maybe I do qualify with a mortgage of 640,000. This is very, very important, especially when you talk to where the interest rates are, new stress tests and everything else. If you watch my other videos, you understand that with shared equity, basically I'm giving a share of the future increase or decrease of that particular property based on what my down payment is. If I put 10% down payment, which is 50% of a 20% down payment, I would have a 50% equity share in the increase or decrease of that property. If I put 5%, which translates to 25% of the 20 of the 20% down payment, I would have a 25% equity share in the future increase decrease of that property. Now, whatever amount we're putting down, let's say in this one, my minimum down payment is 40,000. That translates to a 25% equity share. So basically whatever the increase is, I would be getting 25% of that, but I would also be getting all my mortgage payments down towards this as well. So in this particular scenario, if I'm purchasing this home for 800,000, and let's say, for example, let's say four years from now, so I put it at this this part of this calculation, if annual appreciation, it's usually around 10%, but let's say it's around 7%. So, so this scale, you can actually move up and down on this particular calculator. Let's say, for example, jump to the scenario where, hey, listen, okay, maybe I'll just wait and save, okay? And let's buy that home, the $800,000 home, four years from now. Right now, I can actually purchase this home you know, with a with a lower down payment. But as soon as that home goes over a million dollars, you need a minimum of 20% down, which basically means they're gonna be chasing that down payment for a long time. If I can save an extra, say $3,000 a month, for me to actually build up, you know, over that period of time, say four years or so, I'm gonna only gonna have a fraction of the down payment I'm actually gonna need because that house value, if it's increasing 7% per year, in four years from now, my $800,000 home is now $1,048,636, okay? Now, with this new amount, my minimum down payment is 209827 okay? And the mortgage that's required for this particular home is now 838909 Here's the thing. Here's the thing we have to realize. If we get into home ownership right now with whatever down payment we are even if we're using shared equity even if we have to you know we we're we're giving up a portion of equity down the road but this is equity we don't even have right now right so for your opportunity to actually invest and get into a home today this could be the key let's say my down payment is that 40,000 and let's say i was able to Invest forty thousand. Let's say I want to save for that down payment. I'm gonna take my forty thousand. I'm gonna put it into an investment that's earning ten percent per year. So I know after one year, okay, that's going to be four thousand dollars on my uh, four thousand. So I've earned four thousand dollars in interest, which can maybe help a little bit towards accumulating down payment. But what if I took that forty thousand, put it into an eight hundred thousand dollar home? So eight hundred thousand dollars, okay, is now appreciating at let's say 7%, same as this calculation right here, okay? So 7%, so let me do this after, I'm gonna scale this down, let's go down to one year. Whoop, here we go, 
one year, okay? Now, 800,000 at 7% interest. Now my property has increased by $56,000 for the year, okay? My 40,000, I would have made $4,000 on that particular investment. This has now gone up by 56,000. Instead of making $4,000 on investing in uh, an investment that earns 10%, I put my 40,000 into a property at 800,000 appreciating at 7%, okay? And now I've just gained $14,000 instead of 4,000 on my $40,000 investment because I'm gaining based on the total amount as 800,000 increased to this 856 and if I had the minimum down payment, the 5% that I put down, I would have a 25% equity share in that. That means my 40,000 just converted an additional 14,000 in one year. And what does that translate to? That's a 35% increase in my investment, okay, on whatever my down payment is, because I'm leveraging the full value of that home to increase my equity position. With this particular calculator, I'm gonna make sure this link for this particular calculator is in the video down below. I need you to look at this, right? I need you to really, really look at it. The last 50 years, the greater Toronto area has seen home prices appreciate by an average of 7% per year. So that's why I'm using that 7%. It's been a lot more recently. There has been a little bit of adjustment, but right now we're also now seeing uh, multiple offers again. There's low inventory. I can see that what's happening right now is values are kind of holding right now, and if not, starting to increase. So now, more than ever is probably the best time to buy a home prices have come down they've adjusted okay rates are a little bit higher but because the prices have come down our carrying costs are a lot less using a program like this i just dealt with a client that says you know what they could have bought both ways it, they're very very close but using this particular program they'd have a much higher equity position right so they'll have a 75 percent equity share co-ownership would have a or the shared equity uh arboro would have a 25 percent equity share but what they like most about it is their monthly payments are much lower because they jumped into this particular program because that full 20 percent down payment now we're using a 30-year amortization. This is a huge, huge opportunity to you to actually be able to manage your financing a home. At this time, more than ever, it's really important that we manage our cash flows. And in doing that, okay, um, using programs like this could be the solution. So listen, if you want information, if you want us to do a full analysis of what it would mean for you to get into a home using this particular program, please reach out we're here to help we'll show you how it works we'll guide you down and if there's even any alternatives that are will open your eyes to what potential alternatives there could be even to shared equity but shared equity could be um, a way to get into a home today